Hey everybody and welcome to part 4 of Ratchet and Clank Future Tools of Destruction. So in the last episode we made it here to Looks Planet like Festoon. Ooh. Lombax ruins. Yeah, something terrible did happen here, Ratchet. I mean, Clank. What the, uh, uh, Where is everyone? I tried to tell you, Ratchet. The database said this planet was deserted ages ago. Clank, you see that? It's an old ship. Very old, it would seem. We have to fix her. Ratchet, we must be practical. Tachyon will find the pod's flight codes. He will be here any minute. Clank, please. I need to fix her. Oh, very well. God, I hate the audio glitches. Spacecraft confirms six missing components necessary for intergalactic travel. Happy hunting. Like, I hate that it always desyncs in the cutscenes. Like, the rest of the game is fine. It's literally just for those parts. Whip. Now, these enemies here are actually annoyingly difficult. Same with their nests. Like, nothing likes to die. Like, look how much damage we've already put into this. It took all of our ammo with that very weapon to kill it. Oh, I thought you guys were gonna come back again. Since that's all you guys ever seem to do is come back. I guess like birds. I make birdie sounds. No throwing bombs at me. At least this weapon's fast. Well, apparently we killed off all the enemies, so it just closed itself. That's good to know. We didn't actually destroy it, sadly, but... Ow, why did I do that? You're supposed to meteor strike, Ratchet. Oh, great, more. Hurry up! Oh, we actually destroyed that one. And we're out of ammo again. Go figure. That's two weapons now officially out of ammo. Hey, little man. Leave me alone. Urgh. Oh, yeah. Take them all out. And not to dinner, either. Hey, let's try going up these gears. There are lots of places we can go, so we're going to have to be on the lookout for everything. They sound so innocent when they die, but they are so annoying. And oh, we're actually supposed to come up here. And randomly a bolt multiplier. So we got one of the Lombax flight components. Where are we? Why are we up here? There's like literally nothing up here worthwhile picking up. Eh, oh well. Believe though too, this is also where we get our first clank part. So that'll be kind of cool. We have yet to get to use Clank himself. And trust me, he's not going to be that popular in the series for a while. Like, you won't see him again after an entire game. So if you guys like the Clank segments, abuse it now while you have a chance. And oh my lord, there's so many of these little freaking guys. So many of them. There we go, B3. 317 damage just seems so awkward, you know? Ugh. Oh god, they got so many of their green bomb things. Wait, what? Did they just seriously kill me? Already, they killed me already. Oh my lord, those guys are gonna be obnoxiously annoying. I believe that's the hardest spot though, even the Clank part. Like, Clank always only takes one point of damage every time you use him. Those who have played since Ratchet and Clank for the PS2, you guys know what I'm talking about. Okay. We got us some rare titanium. Uh, I don't need any ammo. Oh, great, you guys are back. There's a ramp up there that we can go up though. 
Like, these guys are worth decent experience. You have received an interstellar holovite from Yeah, that definitely doesn't sound like Captain Quark at all. Boom. Oh, thank God, they're dead. Why do I keep hearing them? Is there more in here? Those metal crates actually have more bolts than regular crates, but they require TNT or an explosive weapon to destroy them. Can't throw my wrench. Like in midair, I absolutely dislike that. Ooh. Worry, guys. See, this is why I wanted the armors, because these enemies are extremely powerful. And our second component. Wait, our third. I think that might be actually third, because we got one up there. I believe there's actually something back here, though. So let's check out back here. High jump! Yeah! Good news, it. Uh, okay, crate. That was kind of weird. Just hovering in midair, but sure, why not? Aha, one fell off. All of them fell off the cliff. Another thing, this weapon upgrades really slow as well. Like, that's why I'm not a big fan of using it, honestly. Yahoo! Can you upgrade, please? Aw, oh, you didn't upgrade. Ooh! You stink! Get off the cliff! And there we go! The Shock Ravager V2. And another component. Perfect. I like the whole boop sound effect. I don't know why, but when I first recorded this part back in the day, like I recorded, I believe, up to part 20 on Solar Warlock, like my old channel. So I had a lot done, but. I believe this planet took over 20 minutes, but that's because I believe I did more of Stratus <coughs> in this part than the other. Not entirely sure. Man, my throat is so scratchy all of a sudden. Oh, hey, you guys didn't all spawn back. Die! Don't ever come back. Your mama doesn't like you, I don't like you, no one likes you. No one loves you. You are unloved by the entire universe. Hey, more of these guys. They kind of remind me of, like, evil ducks. No one just landed on my head. Man, stop with them all, man. Please, let that be the end of it all. Why do you keep summoning more of that guy? Honestly, our combustor seems to be probably our best weapon. It really does. And the plasma beasts seem pretty good. There we go! Now they can't spawn anymore. Holy Toledos. Didn't take any damage this time, but... They certainly were annoying. Let's go. Let's see if there's a component in here. Yep, just... just. I like how the components all look the same, and they're all just lying around. In the air. Yeah! I believe that leaves one, and that's in the client part now. So let's go do that oof. Just at the wall. Okay. Meteor pad. Perfect. We don't have to slingshot all the way back. Oh my god, more of you. Why do you guys have to keep coming back? There we go. Ooh, rare titanium. You know what? Eat this! Why are you throwing your grenades everywhere but the area I want you them to go to, Ratchet? 
Did I go in there yet? Nope, haven't went in here yet. Maybe there's another component. God damn it, I'm out. Goodbye, duck bill platypus. You don't need to say Dude, we have the ability to breathe underwater. I don't know why he just said that. Man, this level is like testing all your skills pretty much. Not that I'm complaining, mind you. There's gotta be a gold bolt around here somewhere. I believe the gold bolt is actually somewhere in this part of the planet. I believe there's a gold bolt per planet at least. So at least one. Half the time there's more than one, but for the most part there's at least one. Well there's the uh, flight component, so let's grab that. Okay, let's continue onward. It could also be Clank that might have the gold bolt too. Well, maybe there's just rare titanium in here. Um, yeah, I believe you need an explosive weapon, or at least something somewhat powerful to deal with that. Where, which way do I go? There it is. There's our pathway to heaven. Sweet freedom is about to be ours. Dude, get out of the water. Thank you. Boop. Oh, that was weird. Oh, so many of you. Hey, you know what? Screw you guys. I'm just gonna go in here. Ratchet. The entrance to this raritanium mine is too small for the both of us. Do not be afraid. We are here to help you destroy it. Um, destroy what? These little guys are very important. Zony. Wait, what? Well, let's go through the door, guys. Ah, oh, I thought that was goop for a minute. Huh. Oh, wait a minute. That's what this button was for. I guess the door stays open afterward, though. Stop saying that! That's cool, guys, that I can slow down time. Now we're in the raritanium mine. Nothing up there. Ooh, raritanium. It's a good way to get rare titanium. Levitation. There's the other button. Let's push it. There we go. That door is open now. Let's grab all this rare titanium. It may not be like the most rare titanium in the world, but it is rare titanium nonetheless, and it is still gonna help us. <coughs> Okay. Do -do 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 -do. Yeah, man. Avoid being crushed. Oh, you guys attack automatically. Okay. <coughs> I was gonna say okay, but apparently no one wants me to talk. You guys hate my commentary that much? Oh man. That makes me sad then. Hey, give me all of the bolts. Nothing down there. Looks like we need to levitate again. Oh yeah, you just infinitely fall. Are you kidding me? 
You gotta do it all over again. Well, like that doesn't tell you you can slow down time right away. It's like, oh yeah, now you have to slow down time. Like, you do run slower than normal, but... At the same time, you do run faster than uh, the, everything else is going in that time frame. Good news is I don't have to smash all the titanium, so this will take less time to go through. To the Crusher Room! Made it! Uh-oh. That was scarier than I was expecting it to be. Though I do love the music here. This music is really good, actually. Whoa! Almost didn't make it again, but we made it. Hopefully this is a checkpoint. Like, come on. The fact that there was, like, no checkpoint. Die! Die, duck-billed enemies. Man, I do like these spikes. They are beautiful. And very sparkly. Oh, it looks like we got the manipulate effect. No, manipulate, guys. Yes, rebuild stuff, or build stuff. Depending on which one you're doing. Oh, it's an elevator, okay. Elevator! Whoop. It's like elevator antics. You're dead. You are also dead. At least I'm hoping you're dead. Yes, you're dead. Manipulate. Oh, okay. Why is, like, the follow button so, like, angry looking? Manipulate everybody. Create this elevator for me to ride. Like, that doesn't even look like it was, you know, separated or anything like that. Yes! Open the door. Give me the Lombax component. Ah, damn it, there's more. Like, we're just looping around. Do you ever notice that? It's just like a giant loop. Oh, shit. This. No! All the zoni just died. Uh oh. Apparently, this part is. Uh... Ow! How the hell did you hit that spike, dude? It's like waka 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 waka. You can just hear it go waka waka waka. Death to the enemies! Our attacks are relentless. Destroy the world. Ooh, lots of raritanium back here. Whoa. It's actually not as much as Ratchet finds though. Sadly. Hey, are you still alive, dude? Eh, he was. Manipulate. Pretty sure, yeah, it's the button. I don't know what else it could have been if it wasn't the button. And open sesame. Ooh, even more rare titanium. Don't think there's anything up there. What is this? And all this for a Lombax component. According Yay, to six out of six. You now have all the parts necessary to restore your ship to working order. Thanks for using Gadgetron's virtual diagnostic service. Your account will be billed within three working days. 
Now, if you guys uh, didn't notice, I can't actually see where the number were the number was because I have my mic sitting in front of it. So I apologize if I thought I had all the parts but didn't really have all the parts because I couldn't see that. I literally just moved my mic right after the cutscene, so it's like, oh, I can see it now. It's like, yay! And why would I need to take the elevator? Why would it even need to come back? Doesn't even tell me what happened in there. Ah, go figure. Boink, and boink, and boink, and boink, and boink. Okay, I think we have all the parts we need. Let's get to work. This! Yes? Yes! It's working! Miserable little prophet. I can't believe they used Tickle around them. <laughs> Bunch of cheese! Oh! A lot back. I thought I'd never see one again. Thanks for repairing me. A talking ship. Tachyon carved up the city with his army of droppings. It was a cruel act of retaliation. If only he had known how evil the Pregnites were. Who? Oh, if they had won the Great War. The entire universe would have fallen under their terrible rule. Eh, drop it. Unpleasant, dreadful, dreadful, dreadful little creatures from planet Zorik. Tachyon bought their loyalty with Raritanium and recruited them for his own personal army. Still doesn't tell us what they are. I couldn't say, really. Probably to steal their technology. All his ships, his enforcers, even the nanotech combat armor he gave the Drophids are all made using stolen Lombax technology. I am sorry. My memory banks seem to have been damaged in the crash. The last thing I remember was laying down suppressive fire over the court of Asma. Of course. I am equipped with an HD 47 optical holoscreen. Hop in. Sweet. Let's get in the ship. Yeah, so now we have our game ship. Mad for mayhem, grave carnage, adore destruction. Well, today is your lucky day. You have been invited to participate. Oops, I mean, witness the greatest, bloodiest, goriest battle in the universe. The Imperial Fight Festival. Rated M for mature. Come on down to Planet Mukau and enjoy a night of entertainment without any ulterior motives or deception. Offer only valid for fuzzy long-eared orphans and their tiny robotic companions. That sounded like Captain Quark. Which means it's probably a trap. But it's our only lead. Let's go see what he's got himself into. Like, it's like, it's a trap. Planet Mukau. The Imperial Fight Festival is an exclusive resort for Emperor Tachyon's most elite troops. Emperor Tachyon has been known to capture or lure his enemies to planet Mukau, only to force them to fight to their deaths for the amusement of his troops. There are four gold bolts here, so let's fly off. I will go back and get all the gold bolts in the end if I don't collect them through the main game. So don't worry about that. Voron Asteroid Belt. Oh my lord. Well, in the next episode, guys, we will be doing this space pirate battle. See you guys then. Like, comment, and subscribe for more videos.